hello, I'm Joy and today in my home I am going to be showing all of you how to use and make sofas out of simple little boxes such as cereal boxes. I'm going to start with Gary, uh, I, I'm going to start by showing you all the materials that you're really going to need for the project. You need a cereal box, you need some um, cloth, some stuffing, a doll, scissors, a ruler, and a marking pen. Very simple items. Okay, the back of the box uh, is going to be the back of the sofa. And sofa backs are usually taller than the sofa seats. So we're going to measure them off at 12 centimeters. We'll do both, both sides at 12 centimeters. Okay. And then the sides for the front are going to be marked off at 10 centimeters. Okay. I'll do the same thing on this side. Once that's done, I can actually go ahead and, and start cutting. Okay, I've cu uh, uh, now I'm cutting down the side of the box all the way down to the uh, marking point of the front. I do that uh, for two sides. Then I turn it over and I do the same thing for the back, except I won't be cutting down as far uh, as I did the front. I do that on both sides. Okay, once the, once the sides have been cut, now we can uh, place our stuffing inside the box. Okay, so we take our stuffing, uh, place it inside the box, and at this point we can actually uh, make the arms of our sofa. So we bend this sofa arms down, we press it, then let's, we're going to go over here and do the other side. You can always adjust the height of the sofa arms uh, simply by pushing it down a little bit more so that it'll be the same height as the other one. After we, uh, after stuffing the, uh, the seat of the sofa, we now can make our folds. We can fold our panels and uh, the, the side panels, the arms should be the first, the back panel should be the next when you fold. And then the last panel that you want to do is your, the actual seat panel. And you just press OK. And there we go. And now the next thing uh, that we can do is we can take some fabric and we fold it the width of the seat. Okay. And if you want to get really ingenious about all this, you can uh, add Velcro or, or tacky stuff in order to try to secure it. So we're going to make it the width of the, this, the bottom of the we can take our ruler push it down a little bit to secure it help secure it a little bit better And now all you need to do is to add your little dolls. What little person wouldn't like to do, to make any these? size box? You can transform it into uh, any size or any kind of furniture that you would like. Very simple, very inexpensive materials, very quick to do. So our next project, you guys, that we're going to do will be mask. We'll be making mask. We'll be cutting them out and using lots of glitter. <laughs>